guys welcome to building web app youtube channel today we are going to see authentication in angular for this purpose i have created one simple login page with username and password whenever the user tries to log in he will get the refresh token and access token okay let us check the code first i have created one simple project in this project i have created one dashboard component as well as login component okay uh, in app.html i have uh, included the router outlet and uh, i have created one auth service to access the api okay then i also have created the interface i will tell you about this later on in this video okay and uh, let us check the code first uh, so uh, before that uh, I have created the uh, routing path okay for both the login component and dashboard component okay if there is no path by default it will go to the login component okay let us check this see right now it is in login component if I not giving any path okay, it by default routing to the login component okay In login component, I have uh, created this simple bootstrap page, okay, which is having the two input tags, okay, and one uh, login method also I have uh, included in the login button. Whenever user clicks this login button, we have implemented some logic, okay and in dashboard it is just a simple uh, and a plain design component okay so this is a simple design if the user login is success it will route to the dashboard and for this uh, illustration purpose i have uh, used this uh, dummyjson.com slash hot slash login so which is a free api it provides the uh, access token and refresh token see here uh, when i click this show output button i am getting this response right so in this response i am getting the access token and refresh token okay so whenever the access token is available we are routing the user from login page to the dashboard page okay right now let us check the login component code it is as simple as it is so here given we have binded uh, using the ng model which is uh, form uh, template driven form okay so whenever we use the template driven form uh, in the ts file we need to provide the forms model or else it will give error see here if i remove this we will get error can't bind ng model so template driven form we need to provide the forms model okay and I have created two property username and password and I have bind it to the ng model okay username and password okay and whenever I click the login button this method will be triggered on login this method will be trigger, triggered okay in this method I have created one credentials where I have uh, assigned an object to this credential property okay so in this object it is nothing but the username and password which the api is accepting okay username and password okay and okay this dot username this property i am accessing this property username and this dot password this password property so it will bind the username and password from the html field okay because we are using uh, 
uh, one way data binding ng model so it automatically gets this value whatever the value i have entered in the username and password field on click of the button it will binds the uh, data okay and we are sending it to the username and password keys okay as an object so we are passing it to the service file okay auth service here auth service is the service file so here in service file only we are uh, accessing the api okay most of the angular developers know uh, we used to call the api from the service file okay so uh, i am using this dummy json api right this is the api for login so i have uh, given in the api url property okay then i am import injected http client okay whenever you use http client in angular 19 on 19 you need to give the provide http client method inside the app.config.ts file okay or else you will get error let us see this now if i remove it save it see this null injector error you will get because it will ask us to provide the http client okay so we need to provide the http client method inside the providers array okay inside the app.config.ts file okay here uh, so in this service file just a minute in this service file uh, we have provided the http client and we, we are uh, accessing we are creating one login method okay so in this login method only we are going to pass the credentials okay this dot api url is the api which we are going to hit and the and the credential is the object which we have created in the ts file okay user entered a value so i am using login payload as an interface uh, nothing but the type of the object username is a string password is a string so it is an uh, object okay so i have created interface for it as well as i login uh, which means this is also one interface after the successful response i will get the response in this manner see in this website see this is the response after the successful login so uh, whenever we need to access these keys id username email we need to provide interface that's why i have created the interface so if the login is successful i will get the response in the in that structure so i have used this i login interface okay so after the successful response from the service it will subscribe to the response and the response structure we already know so instead of giving any we know the structure earlier right so we are providing the interface i login if we are giving the interface only then we can access the keys from the response see you can access the keys whatever keys from the response we can access it here okay if if we give any means we cannot access the keys for 
10 to 20 uh, keys okay but if your api is having more than uh, 40 50 keys it is really difficult no at that time dot you cannot access anything like the keys so better you provide interface okay Post dot access key will not work so we need to give the interface okay once the access token is available we are routing the user to the respective component that is dashboard okay only if the access token is available i am routing by using the router class okay router which is from the angular slash router okay so i am injecting it in, inside the constructor and using that i am navigating it to the respective component if the access token is not available error will be thrown okay this is the simple logic okay now uh, let us check the check it in the browser okay i am giving some uh, random username and password if i click login see i am getting error response that's invalid credentials because this user is not available in the uh, database okay so i need to give the correct username and password in this website you can see the username and password is provided we cannot uh, add an uh, username and password because it does not accept see you can use any user credential from from user uh, dummy json.com slash users okay but we cannot create a user okay so that is the issue and we can use the username and password provided from the website okay emily's and the password is emily's pass clearing the console by click login see the login is successful and the user is routed to the respective dashboard component and we can see here we are getting the access token and refresh token as simple as it is okay so using the local storage or session storage we can store it in the uh, net uh, store it in the respective storage areas and we it is visible in the application so here the store local storage and session storage is there so right now it is empty local storage is empty session storage also empty so we can store it and we can retrieve it from this area and we can pass it to the other uh, routes okay for the uh, authorization purpose so i think uh, it helps you uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button thanks for watching